the unforgettable creations and this is Ryan today I'm going to show you guys how I make my custom water bottle labels using publisher so let's get started first we're going to do a blank 11 by 8.5 okay once you have that I like to go up to page design margins go to none okay once we have that we go back up to insert you go to shapes and you go to your rectangle and you just pull it across okay your drawing tools you go up to your height and your width your height is going to be two your width is going to be eight so two by eight Okay, and then you have this. This is your water bottle label. So now what you're going to do, format. You can shape fill it if you want. That's by just putting any color in. So I'm going to do a red, for instance. Okay, so... You can go back to your format. You see shape outline. You can do a no outline so it won't have the black around it. You can do a shape outline of the same color that you have. Or you can do a shape outline of a different color if you want to keep the black or whatever, you know. Whatever um, theme that you're going with. So now that I have my water bottle, I'm going to start designing it. I'm going to go back up to insert word art choose whatever writing style that you would like and I'm gonna do something simple like happy Valentine's Day okay this you can change the font if you would like the sides make it bold or italic and you just move it in like this now remember this is your front and these are your two sides so you want to put this in where you know this is the front also with word art what I like to do is instead of putting it all together like this I will go back to format and go to edit text and then see if how it looked like this I usually don't do this like this I do it one by one because as you can see it's like too much spaced out so what I'm going to do is just put happy you see that's big so go back to format edit text the size change it down to 20 so you see you see that line publisher lets you know when something is centered or not okay so that's the center so happy you can click this and um, right click it to copy right click again to paste so now you have two happy so you see this one is what we we're on since it's all the um, highlighted so you go back to word front edit text we're gonna put Valentine's for here Okay. And then we're gonna we got one more to write because we got to do day. So again, left click, right click, copy, format, edit text. I'm going to put this for a day. And again, it's too big, so you want to side word size your words to make it all fit. So let's try to do 16 
You see it's so little. So we're going to do all of them 16. So we got to go up to our word font, add a text, go to 16, all of them, okay? This one, font, edit text, 16. Okay, now you just got to play with it. Resize it. And this is just so the letters can look closer, you know. It won't be all spaced out. I do not like it spaced out looking. Okay. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Happy Valentine's Day. And make sure you move it around. It will let you know... When you're censored. Okay, so now we're gonna do some pictures. Go to Google. We're gonna do heart PNGs. PNG is majority of the pictures that they put up will be transparent images, which don't have like a white background or something like that. So that's why it's always good to use PNGs. So let's see what we have. And I, I don't always, like, every picture that I get, I don't always like to save it to my computer. So, I just like to right-click, copy, and some of them do let you just paste it on. Some of them will bring a white box. So, let's see. Right-click, paste. And it came in but you see it came with a white background so we're gonna do picture tools format go over to recolor go all the way down to set transparent color and click that white background now you see it took out the white background but it left an edgy looking look like if I want to put it on here it would look like that I don't like it looking like that I wanted a smooth clean one so I'm not gonna use that one go back to my hearts and see if they just have a heart that don't have a white background. See, like this, it's perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna change this um, to black just for this video purpose. A lot of people don't like using black because it takes up a lot of ink. But I'm just gonna fit this in for video purposes only so you can see how clear it is okay so you see I'm just gonna right click again I'm going to copy that image click out right click I'm gonna paste and I'm gonna put it back up here okay now what I'm gonna do I don't want this white it can be white if you want but I'm just gonna change the color so you gotta click this one first go to format shape fill what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the sample fill color it's a little dropper and you can click on the color that you want it so i clicked on my hearts because i wanted that color so go back again on your next word shape fill now that we already have that color down there it's in recent color so we could just click it for each one now okay so now we have this so some people do, some people don't. If you want to add a barcode, you can just go ahead. Again, barcode PNG. Your barcodes come up. Okay. Copy this. Go back to our publisher. I'm gonna paste it. You see how it came with that background? We don't want that. Go back. Let's try this one. Copy. Paste. Okay, now this is what I was talking about with the white box. It just came up as a white box, so we can't use that neither. Maybe if you save it to your computer, it won't come up as a white box, but just for video purpose I don't want to save all this stuff so I'm just gonna copy them and 
Okay, we have one. Now, this is okay for, like, you see the white background, but that's how barcodes is, so that's okay. What I'm going to do is move this heart, and I'm going to size out my barcode to the size that I want. I'm just going to sit it, like, here. I'm going to put my heart on top like that. And you see how some of my heart is on top, some is in the back? You go to picture tool. You go to bring forward, bring to front. You see how it all came back to front? Okay. So now, this is basically your water bottle. You can move this again. Because once you put that in front, you can't, it's not going to let you move the barcode. It's only going to focus on that picture. Okay. So now, this is basically your water bottle. I would insert my um, business name or logo or whatever. So design by this if you want to. If not, it's fine. Put your logo. You could put um, your contact information. Okay, you're going to make this really little though like you don't want to overpower your design okay so you could either make it littler but basically this is it so this is your water bottle label and now you see how i dragged around the whole thing and everything is lit up now you go to home which is up top right here you go all the way over to group now your image is grouped as one so it moves so for my printing I go back to page design orientation we're gonna do portrait because portrait is um I think I print five on one page so let's see I believe I do five. You can do four to five for sure. So five. You can print five on one page if you do it like this. Save paper and save money. Okay, so here's our water bottle labels. For Valentine's Day. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see other videos or more things, comment down below. Let me know if you like the video. Subscribe to my 